Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Angela and welcome to the Practical C Sharp video series. Today I'd like to talk about a new feature in C Sharp 7, um, ref locals and ref returns. So here you have a console application uh, and have a quick look at our <coughs> what we have at the moment. So we have a game object struct that uh, I don't really care about this, this, the actual uh, fields in it. I care about the fact that it's about 200 plus bytes in terms of size. Uh, then I have a class world that contains a, an array of game objects and a method get that accepts a filter and return a particular game object based on uh, a particular filter that you provide. And uh, the program uh, creates a world with two objects, with ID 0 and ID 1, uh, and then I do uh, 100 million times the get operation searching for the game object with ID equals 1. Alright, I'll do that. I want to measure also the time it takes to do these operations. So let's run this program first and see how long it takes you know, to do 100 million calls to get. And then we can understand why the program is low and how we can make it uh, quickly, quicker using the new features of C-Sharp 7. You can see that it's taking quite a bit of time. It's about 15, 6.3 seconds, right? So why, why is so slow? The reason is because we do a lot of uh, copy operation of, of the structs. Um, you all know that a struct is a value type, so all the time you pass a struct around or you return a struct, there will be a copy involved. Uh, let's start from um, the first copy that I want to consider. And when I call the filter function, uh, I take a game object and here a copy of the game object that you pass actually is, is, is done. So we want to first fix this problem. How we can do that? We can pass the game object by reference. So we want to actually use ref here and have the filter accepting a reference to a game object instead of a game object. Um, in order to do that, we can't use the function. We need to define a custom delegate. This is something we were able to do uh, in C Sharp since the beginning. And Basically, here I can accept the predicate instead of the actual filter. And in order to call this, I need to here say ref game object x. I'm going to pass the uh, lambda that say I want the object with ID equals 1. So if I do this operation now, all the time I call filter, I only pass a reference to the method. So this is something I've always been there. Let's see how this improves the performance. So this should save a few seconds uh, in terms of, um, of performance. Um, let's, let's have a quick look. It's 12.6 seconds, right? Well, we didn't save a lot of time, just about a, uh, yeah, a few seconds. Right. So it's still quite slow. Why? Because all the time we return a game object, we do a copy here. So basically we do 100 million copies of game objects. Uh, starting from C-Sharp 7, what we can do is I can say this method return a reference to a game object. And I need to use a ref as well here, you know, to, to make this compile. And when I call it, I can say, all right, I want to get a reference and I create a local variable that is basically a ref local uh, that point to a particular uh, object. So what this uh, change makes is basically calling 100 million times get and I return a reference to the game object involved, not a copy. So I will never do a copy of game objects. So if I run this program now, you can see that it should be considerably quicker. So it should be taking about five seconds, right? So it's basically three times quicker than it was before. And this is basically the new feature that has been added. So now you can return a reference to uh, an object um, in, in Fish Sharp 7. And, um, but <coughs> It's important to say that this is not basically, so it's similar to a pointer, but it's a lot more safe. So the compiler does not allow you to return reference to uh, local variables, for example, or anything that will be garbage collected. So it's all completely safe code, but it can help improve the performance. Uh, honestly, I do not recommend it to use it unless you really, really need to have uh, these performance improvements and the particular scenario is actually um, game programming, where you use a lot of struct and you need to keep uh, pointers to particular structs in memory. Other than that, uh, there are very few scenarios I can see where this feature can be useful, but it's worth keeping that this feature in mind that can really, really significantly improve the performance of your application. Thanks for watching.